awareness. Happy to give way. Madam Deputy Speaker, once again, can I please commend the member for bringing this debate to the House. I have spent a fair bit of time in the Falklands and I am very familiar with the environment down there, having served down there. And, um, for those that have been to the Falklands, it is a very austere, difficult, tricky environment, particularly in the winter, appalling underfoot in particular. And we can both recall, Madam Deputy Speaker, those images on the screens back in 1982 when I was 12 years old. I want to make two points if I can. First of all, does uh, my honourable friend agree that uh, we should pay tribute to the 255 HM forces that were killed, the three islanders that also lost their lives, as well as to the Argentinian fallen, who were just doing what they were ordered to do? And secondly, does he agree also that uh, those demands that we make of our armed forces are as applicable in 1982 as they are today? And as we've seen over the years, Afghanistan, Iraq and all of the other theatres that we've asked our people to serve in, does he agree with me that uh, we need to maintain our forces at the very highest readiness with the best kit and the best training so that if the Falklands or anything like it happens again, we're ready for it? Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. My honourable friend makes some incredibly important points, and he's made them very eloquently. And of course, I agree with everything that he has 